Hey there guys, what's going on here? It's John from J2Me uh, Reviews. A lot of people want to do me, uh, they want me to do Sepultura. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. We're going to start with Morbid Visions. Uh, this one was released in 1986. Uh, very, very uh, cool album cover. Um, it's got like demons, looks like we're in hell. It's kind of weird actually. Um, it's around a half hour in length, uh, 33, 35. Uh, this is considered actually death metal. Which is not the Sepultura that I knew of when I first met him, but this record is a beast. Um, so let me go ahead and talk about the bands. The band member here, we have Max Cavalera, which he does vocals. He also does uh, rhythm guitar. Igor Cavalera, which is his brother. He does drums and percussion. Great drummer, by the way. Uh, Apollo Jr., uh, doing the bass guitar, and then we also have Jero Gudez on the lead guitar, which I hope I didn't pronounce your name wrong. Sorry if I did in advance. Uh, we also um, have them here. Um, we're uh, going to be uh, talking about track by track. Um, so Morbid Visions is the opening track. It's not bad. Mayhem, Troops of Doom. Put a star on that one. It's perfect. Uh, War is really good. Funeral Rites is awesome. Um, the 1991 uh, reissue had a few, uh, like they had uh, Bestial Devastation, which is awesome. Um, Warriors of Death. I mean, they just had some really good ones. And um, this, th this is actually going to get like a 7 out of 10. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it. A lot of people will say this is like their best. This is Sepultura at their prime. Uh, you know, I, I never really was a big fan of it. You know, uh, but it, it's going to get a 7 out of 10. Now, that's what I think Morbid, Vig Morbid Visions deserves to get. So, But uh, other than that, guys, I'm going to get off here. Um, we're going to start with their second record coming up, and I will see you guys there. Woo! Peace out.